We all pretty much just woke up and we heard a loud boom. Just a month before Christmas Day, Darlene Gonzalez and her family woke up early Saturday morning to their home engulfed by fire. Trying to process what was going on because we could see the flames and we knew that we had to get out of there quickly. Darlene says her main concern was getting her 85-year-old mother and her other three family members to safety. So we managed to get everybody out there, but uh, we had to pretty much just leave what we had on from this morning. So it's pretty much all gone. She says this has been her home for over seven years and wonders what led to the fire. I'm in shock. I, I, I'm still trying to process. Everything just seems like a very bad dream to me. Captain Parker Wilburn with the Sacramento Metropolitan Fire District told KCRA 3 the cause of the fire is still being investigated. It appears to be an outside-in fire, which means the fire started on the exterior and pushed its way into uh, both of those structures. He said despite the challenges, crews were able to limit the spread of the fire to other houses. There was also a cypress tree that was kicking up embers to adjacent homes, and so we were worried about those homes actually catching on fire. Now standing outside of the home she lost, Darlene is trying to figure out what this holiday season will look like for her family. So I don't know what moving forward is going to look like from here. This is really hard even for the grandbabies because they come here like every day. Yeah. So, so. that's going to be hard for the family. As they sort through the damage, they are thankful they will at least be together for the holidays. We're really blessed to have gotten out of the house and we're all safe. So that's the main thing. I think other things can be replaced, but family can't. And right now, it's a tough time for this family. They have received hotel vouchers from the Red Cross and support from neighbors and family while they still try to figure out what will happen next. Reporting live in Sacramento, Carolina Estrada, KCRA 3 News.